Researchers at Cincinnati Children's Hospital say a new study may have uncovered what's behind the recent surge in cases of a liver illness in so many infants and children during the pandemic. Medical reporter Liz Bonus explains. Hey there, hello to you. This new study says after two years of keeping kids well protected against other illnesses, it's possible a surge recently in two common childhood viruses could be linked to this hepatitis outbreak. These viruses likely made a comeback, according to scientists, after pandemic lockdowns ended and led to this sudden surge of hepatitis cases in kids. The hepatitis is inflammation of cells in the liver. In this preprint research, not yet published or peer-reviewed, two teams of researchers in London and Glasgow say infants might have had a much later than normal exposure to these viruses because of COVID-19 restrictions. One is the adenovirus we've been hearing about. It can cause cold-like symptoms and upset stomachs. The second virus is called adeno-associated virus 2, or AAV2. It doesn't usually cause illness or symptoms, except when it gets combined with a helper virus. Pediatric liver specialist Dr. William Balistreri told me, here's the theory then of what's likely behind the rise in these childhood hepatitis cases. So you have two viruses that may work together to cause this particular uh, injury. More than a thousand children in 35 different countries so far appear to be connected to this liver illness surge. 350 of them have been in the U.S. Many are younger than five. In the U.S., 20 have needed liver transplants and 11 have died, according to the CDC. They do suggest parents be on the lookout for early warning signs of hepatitis. Those warning signs include flu-like symptoms, yellowing of the skin or the eyes, fever, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, stomach pain, or diarrhea. If these persist in your child, tell your child's primary care doctor. They can order liver function tests so you have information you need right away. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you.